Welcome back to Midday. You never know what's going to happen when this fine fellow is joining us on the show. <laughs> Welcome, Gord, from the Big Little Science yeah, it's Center. It's good to be here. Yeah. It's always, uh, there's always fun things happening down there. Kids yeah. are going through the revolving doors. What's yeah. happening right now? Well, right now we have our junior science camp running. and Plus, we're open to the public Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 4, as always, with shows at, yes. uh, at 10, or 11 and 1.30. Awesome. And that'll continue for the rest of the summer. Okay. Um, our robotics camp next week actually is full, so we have no room in that one. Um, and the other thing is coming up uh, in September, the weekend of the 23rd, we're having a free day there because Science World is coming up that previous week during Ooh, Science Literacy okay. Week and they're going through town doing stuff. So we're working with them on Friday. We're having actually an adults only science night at the Science Center. Ooh. So it's like the first news is getting out about that. So there'll be more details to come. Okay. But that'll be a fun day. And then on the on the Saturday following that is going to be a free entry day with Science World. That's where we're doing science literacy type things. So awesome. it'll be a really fun weekend at the Science Center. Great. Is, yeah. is there information about that up on the website? Not quite yet. This is kind okay. of like the first. You're giving us I'm, a I'm breaking the news a little ahead of time. But <laughs> <laughs> But the details yeah. will be sorted out in the next couple of days and it'll start going out some more, okay. more information. But just to sort of mark on the calendar, 22nd, 23rd of September, there'll be some sciencey stuff going on. Perfect. For sure. So families can plan for that. That sounds yeah. like a blast. I'm curious about that adults only science night. Yeah, it'll be fun. We'll do some adult type science. Exploding stuff. things. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But <laughs> or, today we're doing something too. Yeah, I'll let you don the goggles just okay. in case I splash something. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Keep yeah. the goggles on. Yeah, no flames this time. But this is, I'm just going to, what I've got here is a little, um, oops, we're not getting power for some reason. But, Oh, okay, now we're That's good. Fine. Now we're good. Yeah. Oh, always good to turn so, it on. Good, yeah, turning it on helps. <laughs> and looking at the right side, there's a little knob on each side. I got the uh, wrong okay. knob. Science. So this is a, an example of a, a reaction that takes time to happen. Some people think reactions are instant. Right. This one is um, a little slower, and it has multi stages, so it'll change colors through those stages. So hmm. just just an, it shows an indication that all not, not all reactions happen right away. So I'm just going to dump some of this stuff in here, and we're going to get a color to get a little bit of a greeny. I'm going to have a little oh. bit more in there. Okay, so it's going to give us a little bit of a greenish color, and then it should turn through some... I'm just going to turn okay, up the what stirring. did we start with? What was in there to begin with? It was clear. With? Um, well, it's a peroxide and other chemical mix, okay. and then some bromide. There's a bunch of different chemicals okay. here, but it's going to create... It should go from a, you know, that greeny blue to a, a little clearer than yellow. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of color. I'm going to add... a little bit of yellow. It's a little bit of yellow. I was going to say Maybe add a little, a little bit. less on camera there, but we're seeing a bit here. Yeah, so I'm just going to see if I can get some more depth to the color. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there we, so we got a There's greenish green color now. So it goes from a green to a, to a greener color, and then it'll, it'll go back to a yellow as a finish. But that's as the different parts of the reaction carry through. Mm. Okay. So it's not always instant kaboom explosions or flashes. Right. Um, it's not always dramatic. Not always dramatic, and some of them take longer. than this is a fairly quick change. You can see we're starting to go to the yellow now. Mm -hmm. um, but there's some reactions that take even minutes to happen longer than this one. And there's, some of those are the fun ones, especially ones like this that'll change their color as they yeah. go. You know, Absolutely. you get the, it's a little bit more of a show to it than an instant kind of flash to right. the color. Those are flashy. There's value in waiting too, though. Yeah, it's a little bit of patience. Yeah. Sometimes science <laughs> takes time. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. But uh, you now we're, we're almost getting to our end product of sort of a yellowy yeah, color. Yeah, kind of an there. amber color. Amber yeah, color, yeah. And I see the TV's kind of picking it up, but All yeah. Right. But so this is the kind of experiment that you would do during your camps to teach kids about... Yeah, some of the camps or during our chemistry show, we show some of this. And there's some. There's actually some labs we do with the kids where they can they do the little chemical reactions themselves. Yeah. And some of those are... some One of them takes four or five minutes to happen, so they kind of set it up and look at it, and then they come back to it and see that it's changed Perfect. after the fact. So. Yeah. Oh, and even now, it's still changing. Yeah, it still changing a little bit. It should end up with a light co yellow color when it's done. Okay. Then so. again, teaching the value of being patient, and mm -hmm. these things take time. We can't expect instant reactions always. Not always, yeah. And the thing about that is we could go through um, with some of the older kids and actually balance out the equation and explain chemically what's going on. Okay. But that's a little bit more. Yeah, we're like, but we won't do that. We won't do that on the TV, yeah. <laughs> especially because I wouldn't be able to do it. Actually, yeah. right now. Yeah. So, what are the kids doing at camp this week? Is it this kind of thing, or? Um, yeah, this is the little little junior science camp. So we're going with uh, six, seven, eight year olds. So they're doing some science stuff. Actually, today they're building some homes for uh, pollinators right now. Oh, awesome! So they're doing a little homemade pollinator home that they can take home for some that's of our great. local. Because we're a bee city now, so mm -hmm. it's something to look at that side of it. So we get into some biology of the bees and the pollinators, and they're building okay. some homes for some of the mason bees and things like that. So. Always something happening at the Big Little Science Center. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. And in. again, the dates for that, that big weekend. The big weekend is the Friday evening for the, is the 22nd of September and the 23rd would be the free entry day where there's lots of awesome. stuff going on for Science Literacy Week. So it'll be okay. good. So people can watch for more information on that and you can keep checking, checking biglittlesciencecenter.org. Yep. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome.